Ivan's in the ruck now, and up I against Baden. I don't, reckon, that. And I don't reckon Best will be back to scene either, because no. a pair of crutches went past the boxes here before. Start of the final term, 9-11-65. Thompson in belief, 3-8-26. Hybens gets it down, Hole will taps it on, free kick. Oh, oh come geez. on, mate. <sighs> free kick to Seddon in the middle for Inverley. Plays on now. Drives it long towards centre-half forward. Oh, Holwell fills the space, and as he always does. Tunbridge is in there as well, fighting hard for it. Ball from Hodgson. Only as far as Gerard Got one high. And we'll take the free kick at centre-half forward as the rain starts to come down as well. That'll make it even harder. Yep. So he's going to be kicking from 50 out, Rusty. So he's going to take a fair kick from there. The breeze has probably died down since the first half. He should have stayed on the ground when he got reported, when he hit that block. Because then he would have done his 15 yeah. minutes and he was there for the last quarter. That's right. So, Rusty Gerard, the captain of Inverley. They need this. He comes in, 50 out, gives it everything he's got. Has it got enough? No. Umpire says, touched. And through for one behind. They get a 3-9-27, the Hawks. Trail Thompson, 9-11-65. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. Minute and a half played. Hodgson doing the kicking in duties from that full-back position. Turn the Front lights the on, sir. Yeah, no, it's got pretty dark. Ball is short. Goes in. Wiseman, easy. An uncontested mark there for him inside defensive 50. Looks to deliver the ball now towards centre wing. Going to be uh, cut off there. Ball gets through the hands. Picked up. Handball goes back. They missed the first one, but he's got some backup. Ends up in the hands of Wall. Wall goes back to the boundary line, and it's cleared along the boundary line. Goes towards... The player out there in Freeman, he tries to keep it in the field of play. He's able to do so. Dribbles it along the ground. So they've kept the momentum going forward. Cations is back there trying to pick the ball up. Does so. Got the handball back in board. Maybe should have gone to the boundary. It might be dangerous. It's uh, okay at the present time because the numbers start to arrive for Inverley. Howell's put his head back over oh. the contest. Again, ball does not look like it's going to come out. Umpire circles and says it's going to be mine. It's just Reese Holwell football this, isn't it? Grubby? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Wet. It's made for Slippery. Him. Made for made him. For him. <laughs> so throwing up uh, will take place and again Hyman tries to take it out of the ruck contest. Able to feed it through and again the ball runs back over the boundary line so I'll have a throw in to take place. Far side of the ground. Not far outside forward 50. And Thompson just looking to press and get that first goal of this last quarter. Thrown back in. Baden flips it out the back. Picked, uh, wasn't quite picked up. And again, Holwell was the one that was on the ground. But it goes towards the centre-half forward position. Mark Gerard goes back into the middle of the ground. Goes towards Violet. He comes up and takes the mark. Grundle's going to be the next target. So he puts it out in front. Got Maguire right with him. A He's got a hole. The umpire, so Grundle wins the free kick. Ball comes back to him. Gerard just cruises by. He won't give the handball. He needs to give himself a bit of room. That's it. So he's going to go along now. He says to the umpire, he's going to shoot for goal. Hutchison sneaks back. Wouldn't mind that. See the ball going to his hand from this distance. That's what he's going to do. So Hutchison now loads up. Was going to thought well, sell, he a, bit went, of, sell nah. a bit of candy there for a minute. I thought he goes long. Ball in the contest is going to be pushed oh. through. No, it's not. It stays in the field of play. Umpire said there's no prior opportunity. And uh, cars in the air. I just got this funny feeling it's going to get really, really nasty shortly here. I mean the weather, not the footy, the yeah. weather. <laughs> so the ball thrown back in or ball up, back up by the umpire again. It's not far from the top of the square now. And again, umpire's just circling. Ball is kept alive. It comes out. Now it's pushed through, I think. Not too sure by who. But I believe have another minor score. They now move to 3-10. 9-11 to the Thompson side. And four minutes gone. Final quarter. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard. Hodgson into the back pocket. Howell takes the mark. When the coach calls for it, you kick it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to, everybody to go yeah, wide. Unless it's squizzy. Yeah. <laughs> He goes out wide. Oh, Jacker goes up and defensively in the end taps it over the line. Does nicely. So boundary throw in. Left half forward for the Hawks. So boundary throw in. Hybens and Baden. Hybens gets it down. Cations runs past it. Now back towards Hybens with the footy. Dropped it and a tackle. The umpire said play on. Comes to Robbie Lowe. Got a bit of time and space. Goes with a left foot kick. Over the back, Hutchy, third in line, takes the mark and will shoot for goal from 40 out directly in front. 
So, being pushed forward by the looks of it in this final term. In the early stages, five played. They need this. Comes in. So the rain comes, it becomes a bit heavier as well. He comes in with a left foot kick and has missed, missed it. So through for one behind. And they go to 3-11-29 in Belie. Trail Thompson, 9-11-65. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard, five and a half play. Getting hard to see now, Jake, I'll tell yeah. you. <laughs> Tough out there, isn't it? It is. And Hodgson decides to go straight down the middle of the ground, and that's where he's gone. Baden out the back, doesn't take the mark. Jacker is there, sees the ball and starts to run it towards the boundary line. Over around the ball, Seddon tries to keep the ball alive, puts it along the boundary line. This time it goes back over, and it will be another throw in to take place on that far side of the ground. In between centre wing, half forward. This time it in Belize attacking into the ground. Phone back in. Hybens does the ruck work. Comes out the back. Good clean pick up. Handball vacations. Went back inside. Missed the target. Alfred tried to went back or tried to go back and collect the ball. Picked up by Low. Got the handball away. McLeish just belts it back the other way. Went to me and went through his hands. Wall kicks off the ground. Goes out wide. Hyben just lopes after it. Traps it now. Went through his legs. Finally picks it up. Goes out the back. Missed his target. Guess who will rise? Freeman. He kicks the ball off the ground. Get a bit too much on it. And goes over the boundary line. So free kick to the Inverley side. Well, I reckon Bowman. if it didn't go on the full, they were going to play deliberate on it. <laughs> so Bowman now, just a ball on the half-back line. We'll kick the ball towards centre wing. Targets there. Burke comes out the back. Denham has it. Got the handball away, but it went Dimbley's way. They tried to feed it further afield. Goes towards... Uh, teammate Jacker, but they overran the ball. Ended up in the hands of Wiseman. He is tackling. The umpire said there was a throw prior to that. A free kick goes to Inverley. Manganelli. He's punched him. Hutchison's still down on the ground, it looks like. So Manganelli now on the left boot. Goes to about 20 out from goal. Baden stands in the space. Doesn't try to take the mark. The oh, handball Wolf. comes out the back. Goes to Denham. Denham kicks the ball round the it's boundary back. line. And yeah. he goes Lazarus. to... Here's yeah. another Timmy Barton. Goes to uh, <laughs> Holwell, I think, out there on the far side sure of the ground. Reese Holwell just uh, telling players to push across. He's going to go straight down the line. That's what he does. Again, goes towards Davis. Can't take the mark. Ball comes to the front. Handball comes out the... Goes in the hands of Seddon. Seddon gives it to Cations. Cations goes back towards Grozdanowski. On the right boot, he goes into the forward line. Numbers back there uh, with the Thompson side. Tumbridge can't take the mark. I'm only guessing now. It was Jacka, though. Ball. Hobble. <laughs> when in doubt, That was Reese That was, Reece, that yeah. was Hobble. Hobble. You can tell that because on the bottom of the pack. <laughs> so Reese Hobble's in the back pocket. And I reckon he's just not going to transfer play. I don't even think he'll even look this side. He oh, is. Have a look at that. He goes back to the goal square. <laughs> Wave. Goes to Wigan. Oh, no. His kick is smothered. Meehan picks it up. Runs in. And he kicks the goal. Casey Meehan. Good work. His second of the afternoon. And the fourth for Inverley. 4-11 to the Inverley side. 9-11 Thompson. And final quarter. Smith's holding. Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard. I don't like to tell Reese Holwell what to do because he's been so fantastic as a player and as a coach. But when you're five or six goals up in a grand final and it's raining and it's the last quarter, you stick to the boundary, you kick it long, and you keep it out there. You don't give the other mob a chance by kicking it across goal. I know footy's played different these days, but in this situation, stay out there and keep it safe. Any chance we could turn the lights on at the ground here, you reckon? Well, I don't think so. By the time it lights up, it'll be into the game. Well, back, here we go. Back the to the middle. Seddon goes us. with a torpedo punt long towards the forward pocket over the head of Maguire and also... Hutchinson, and out of bounds, so in the right spot for the Hawks. Deep into attack. Yeah, Look at like, this. Uh, <laughs> it's a grand final a few years ago like this, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, ago, the Bell worst I've ever seen was a GFL between Lara and North Shore. Oh. Just as a final assignment, you couldn't see the football. Ruck contest. Hyben's got it down. Muir at the back. Tried to break free. He got it out too. Handballs to Logue. Left foot kick. Oh, gee whiz. Where Those are they Four all? Thompson players behind the ball. They got it out now, and they just go with a kick. Oh, Mean again chops it off. Might be, oh, oh, he drops it, though, in the tackle. Tumbridge comes through, tried to shuffle the handball out. Now, Cations breaks free, gets around on the left. Toe poke it nicely to Rusty, and he takes the mark. In the left forward pocket, about 40 out. You have the breeze behind him anyway. <laughs> so the distance won't be a problem. The accuracy now. Comes in. Kicks across the goal. I'll tell you what, he might have got it, I think. He's got it. 
Suddenly so it's a four goal game. Rusty. Gerard kicks his first. And the fifth for Imbalee, 5'11. 41. They trail Thompson 9 11 65. And that is on the Smiths Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. Thank God for the scoreboard, too, across the uh, other end. 10 minutes played, final term. Well, when you're the best side in the comp and have been all year, you've still got to, they're not just going to lay down and give it to Thompson. They're still going to try and show what they've got. And if they can kick another two, they're back in it. But it's just going to be so hard with this weather to kick look, goals look, now. Look at the Wind flags, going though. that way, too, now. <laughs> yeah, so. but it. it, it it you limits flag, it a little bit when it's raining and so hard. Yeah. <laughs> so it's snowing, I think. Mm. Just better get the heater on the box. Ball thrown back <laughs> up in the middle of the ground again. This time Baden over the top. Went to the uh, centre wing. Hakations off the wing. Picked it up. Slipped over. Got the handball away, though. Back to the middle. Seddon. Sweeps oh. on the ball. Allowed to go, says the umpire. Goes long into the forward line. Again, numbers back there. Maguire just punches the ball away. Goes towards the boundary line. And it runs over. And there will be a throw in not too far away from the behind post. Again, the lead back into their uh, attack. Four goals. Four goals. You know what? Thompson have played every game in the finals and played it tough. Inverley about a couple of rests. This is where it might help them a little bit. More legs. So from the contest, touches and tries to force his way through. The ball is tapped further afield. And again, I can't see who's got the ball out there, but the ball was kept moving. But both sides are trying to keep it in, and one's trying to get it out. The umpire will come in once again. Might need to get them off you, Grub, and have a see if we can see anything. Yeah, I can see him. That's all right. Ball thrown back in. Out the back it comes. Again, goes to Meehan on the left. Boots hunt. Touched. Touched on the line by Wiseman. So Casey Meehan with two goals, two. And 5-12 now to win the lead. Trailing Thompson, 9-11. And we've gone 12 minutes, final quarter. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. Could be a handy point. Wiseman tries to torp it. Goes towards Denham. He can't take the mark. Off hands. Denham taps it on. Across half four. That's, oh, gee whiz, that was nearly too low as well there. The umpire says play on. Pack develops. And we'll ball it up at centre half forward. See, they change it a little bit when it rains. But he just dived on the mm. ball and it didn't come out. So that's to me, is a free kick. They paid it early. And now when it rains, he didn't pay that one. So ball up centre half forward. Hybens gets it down. Off hands. Hole wool. Oh, Ripped off the footy. The umpire says play on. Oh, oh. Hodgson kicking in danger. I no, agree. no, no. Come around. Come oh, back. I agree with that yeah, one every yeah, time. That was, yeah. That's you know, that, that could hurt someone. Yeah. I know it didn't, but that's the rule. Alford's got it. Centre half forward for Inverley. So he's going to be kicking from 50. Runs very close to the man on the mark. Right foot kick towards the teeth of goal. Wiseman goes up. Off hands. Side of the pack, Wall, sees it out, kicks it off the ground, Hodgson, handball, hole wall, chopped off, kick by the Hawks across, and uh, Wiseman just taps it on, Burke just on the ground, leaves it for me, and handball over the top by Logue, still at half forward for Inverley, Rusty gets a left foot kick around the corner, <coughs> Baden comes across, can't take it. the mark, and Thompson are playing uh, dry weather footy in a wet day, and they're in trouble a bit here, I reckon, Mick Gross gets a kick around the corner, and Put it through for one behind. So they go to 5 13 43 in Belize. Thompson 9 11 65. 13 and a half played final term. Got to stop the little handballs grubby, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just kick it and kick it and yeah, kick it and, and kick keep, it. And keep going. Because if you keep it up there yeah, long enough for those it. little handballs, in Belize will kick a goal. That's right. So Sammy Jack are just now waiting for the ball to come back. And he's got it now. And whether that'll make much difference, try and try and drive the ball. But anyway, Sammy Jacker from the full-back position will now kick uh, to the far side of the ground, I would think. That's the direction he goes in, long and outside 50. Ball doesn't uh, get taken in the mark, but it's picked up Matheson, got the handball away, and then he went after it again. The ball goes over the boundary line. Going to have a throw-in to take place on the out there between half forward and centre wing. Still in the attacking into the ground. So it's thrown in, out the back it comes, kicked off the ground this time. Free kick this time will go to Thompson for a kicking in danger, similar to the last. Except for the fact that there was no one within eight metres of him. Well, obviously the umpire thought there was, but Holwell got the yeah. free kick. Reese needs a stat, Grubby, that's fine. Jeez, you're allowed to kick it off the ground, it's just not people around you. So he goes now towards the true centre wing. Dan Gros is up, can't take the mark. Picked up by Madison. His kick went straight up in the air. They knock it further afield. Goes towards Freeman. He can't take clean possession of the ball once either. And the ball runs back over the boundary line. 
And it'll be another throw in to take place. Ivan's doing the ruck work. Baden moves his way to the front. Taps it back towards the boundary line. Picked up out there by Dan Gros. Ball comes out of his hands again. Thompson, a bit more pressure being applied oh, now. Ends up in the hands of Freeman. I'm not too sure that was. Bone oh. picked it up and put oh. it down. And was caught with the, the ball or with the ball and put it out incorrectly. So free kick goes to Solly. And he will take the free kick. He'll be able to put the ball into their forward 50 probably for the first time in this last quarter. And we've travelled 15 minutes. So he's asked to play on now by the umpire. He goes low and flat into the goals or into the forward line. Picked up the back well, of the contest by Grundle. I think. High, says the umpire. So Matheson has 2-4 for the afternoon. In no hurry to get the game going here. Reese Hole will just give him the ball back to him now. So the wind has died off. The rain has not stopped altogether, but it's probably the best it's going to be. Won't be far along for Jones, is it, or is he back on? No, no, it's not, not yet. No, no. Red light still on. So ball now with Matheson. He loads up. His kick comes off the side of the boot. Davis can't take the mark. Picked up there. Nankable tries to get the handball out. Picked up by Grundle. Got boot to ball. Didn't travel too far. Uh, Thompson have been able to keep it in their forward bit for a minute. But it's picked up by Mays. He goes back into the middle. In there is Baden. Can't take the mark. Wiseman with him. Kick was smothered. Goes back towards for Seddon, got the handball outside and missed the ball, handball goes back ends up in the hands of Tunbridge, puts it on the right boot goes back into their forward 50, ball out the back spokes, did nicely, made a contest of it ball runs over the boundary line and there will be a throw in to take place just outside forward 50 Baden pushing down Hyman is also there thrown back in by the umpire Hyman just takes the ball to the front of the contest. Looks for Seddon. Ball's taken away by Hutchison to McLeish on the right boot. Goes towards the forward pocket. Alford. Ball, was it over the boundary line? No, it, yes it was. And a free kick will go to Alford. So Alford now brings the ball back outside 50. In front, Meehan can't take the mark. He goes back and collects it. Ball comes out in the tackle, tries to force his way through, ends up in the hands of Spokes. He was brought down in the tackle, picked up by Robbie Logue, puts his head down and tries to work his way through the contest. Umpire says it's going to come back to me, so another ball up this time take place just outside forward 50. Ball is thrown up very quickly. Hybens gets the ball, the ball runs into their forward 50. Baxter goes back and collects it, tries to get the handball over the top, does so. I don't think the ball has gone back over the boundary line. No, it's been kept alive. McLeish kicks it into the forward half. Oh, got a nice mark there, Hutchison. He takes the mark in the forward pocket. Our gobble up 30 seconds, mate. Probably don't need to now, I don't think, but do it anyway, just in case the miracle happens. <laughs> so so Spokes, Spokes is in a bit of space by himself. He no, don't worry about him. Just take no, your 30 know. seconds and have a shot. 30 seconds and chip backwards to him. <laughs> Mays is now sitting. Robbie Logue's going to him, so he's going to have to shoot for goal now. Well, that's Hutchison. another rule they've got to change. Hutchison has one. If you take your 30 seconds, you have to have a shot. They should make it. So Hutchison now comes in, kicks a goal. It's looking it's good. It's going across no. the face and through for a minor score. So 9-12 now to the Thompson side. 5-13 to Inverley and an almost 20 minutes gone final quarter Smith's Holden and Blazazuki final quarter scoreboard so Baxter with the footy at fullback again goes to 50 Burke off hands Grundle spokes through the middle tried to kick it Mays chopped him off he got it back again Grundle still on the ground still across kick away by Dan Gros Goes back to the middle Baden taps it back to Racy Hole just goes back inside back to Dan Gros so kick to kick Called to play on. Going off his mark. Hutchinson. Oh, Matheson comes from the side. He got the kick away, but only as far as Freeman. 65 out. Can get around on the left foot. Goes into the pocket. Dan Gross again. Oh, he can't take the mark. Matheson was a great, nearly a great pickup on the half volley. 
Again, Groz goes across close to the boundary line. Hutchinson's there as well. Tried to play for a high tackle. Didn't get one. The umpire said he was taken over the line and we'll have a throw in about. 25 around from the Thompson goal. 20 minutes played, final term, 9-12-66, Thompson in belief, 5-13-43. Boundary throw in, Hybens up against Davis. Davis gets it to the side, Kittles handball over the top, Hybens chopped it off, and kick from the pack, McLeish, one behind. So they're going to 9-13-67, Thompson in belief, 5-13-43, 20 and a half played, final term, Smith's holding blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. So Baxter with the ball. And most players coming this side of the ground. So that's the option he's got. He goes out wide. Grozdanovsky the target. It's picked up high. We've got the handball outside. Alfred uh, did nicely. Was able to get the go and collect the ball. He puts his head back underneath the contest. Tries to work out of there now. Holwell's played the tackle. Umpire says no way the ball is going to come out. So there's going to be a ball up to take place. So thrown up again by the umpire. Ball comes out the back. Solly has it. Didn't get the handball away. Comes through the legs of Hodgson. Picked up and flicked forward again. Now there's a free kick. Which way is it going to go? It's going to Milky Mays. So Milky Mays now with the ball. We'll have it shortly. The ball comes that goes towards Gerard. Now he goes back into the middle of the ground. That's where it's gone. Coming up, Meehan takes the mark. Looking at his options further afield. He hasn't had too many by themselves. He goes out wide. Burke will be the target. But going in was uh, Egan and taps the ball over the boundary line. And it's going to be a ball a throw in to take place. We're going to have at least seven minutes of time on. At least. You reckon? Well, he's got 15 minutes. Yep. And it says 22 up there. Yep. So ball back into the contest now. Matheson tries to take collection of the ball. Can't do it cleanly. Goes towards Banfield. Going in out of trouble. Got the handball back to Wall. He doesn't take the ball either. Solly picks the ball up. He's tackled. Ball comes out. Runs over the boundary line. And it's throwing to take place. So Joseph's will beat Leopold by a point. Wow. <laughs> Uh, ball about to be thrown back in. Just play the footy, mate. Ball thrown into the contest, coming through, picked up by Logue, works his way into the clear, goes into the forward line, straight towards the uh, defenders, and it's Jacker in front. Wiseman was the next option. So Sammy Jacker now with the ball. He's going to go long from that position. So from one half forward to the other half forward, or half back to half forward. Dog Hole will just dives on the ball, taps it further afield, picks up Baxter, goes outside to Gerard. Gerard on the right boot, goes around the boundary line. Wall couldn't take clean possession. Spokes comes up. Wall yeah, back keep me eye on it, son. Wall's now got it, picked up, tackled, brought to ground. Umpire says no prior opportunities. A ball in to take a ball up to take place. There's nothing worse when you lose and the bloke puts his face right in your face saying, Look at the scoreboard, look at the scoreboard. I know what I'd have done. <laughs> I'd have been sitting with Jones. He's doing 15 minutes. The ball thrown back up by the umpire. Jones this time over the top. McLeish had it. Kicked along the boundary line. Goes back over. And this time a ball in to take place. So we tick towards 24 minutes. Final quarter. In Valia, 5-13-43. Thompson, 9-13-67. So throw in right in front of our commentary position here. Center wing. Fire. Baden Jones, Baden gets it down. Hodgson just thumps it on towards Davis. Tries to tap it on to Denham. Does nicely. Some little things like yeah, that. Goes towards Mathis. Oh, oh he can't it. take the mark. Kick <laughs> comes back. Freeman goes towards the pocket. Kick it off the ground. And we thought about it. Now he gets it around. Oh, he wheels around. Right foot. Kick. Oh, 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 right. Oh, Why would you kick it off the ground <laughs> when you can do that? Freeman kicks his fourth. That's the ball game. Thompson kicked their 10-13-73. They lead in Valley 5-13-43. Smith's Holden, Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. And, and i got to say this with Freeman. Found the winner against Bell Post till round two. 
found five in the final term against Werribee, found the winner against West, and he's won in the grand final. Well, I don't know about that. They well, were going to win it anyway before that. <laughs> What's his stats? Can you give me his stats? I reckon so that's his kicks. seventh kick. That was his seventh kick. Hey, four kick, goals and four seven goals, kicks. Seven kicks. That's all you need, mate. Well, that's what his job is. Yeah, that's right. And, he, and he's been getting his ten kicks, but not kicking four or five goals during the finals. But, he, gee, I'll tell you what he has today. So, Baden over the top, knocks the ball forward. Cajun's coming off the wing, doesn't take clean possession. It goes back to Baden, kicks the ball forward. Again, oh. Bowl coming out. and oh. no, <laughs> I beg your pardon, there, Ball. <laughs> Grundle's there. Goes to Grand Dodge. Dan Gros got the handball out. Grand Dos! Yep. <laughs> Grand Dos! <laughs> Shut up, idiot. The ball gets the half forward line, picked up <laughs> Wiseman. Handball goes back to Wall. Wall outside. And he's got Hodgson a little chip sideways. Done with that. The required distance. Call the play on now. And it's Tunbridge. Kicks towards uh, four to centre wing. But the mark has been taken there. And it's Meehan. So Meehan looks to go short. Pilot comes up, takes the mark. And he's going to play on now and go long into their forward line, but going across Sammy Jack oh, takes yeah, the mark. Good mark. Takes the mark. Has spokes. He's seen him. Goes in that direction. Seen him a bit of a task. Gets through the hands of Filet. Goes to Burke. Burke handballs to Gerard. Gerard looks up. Tried to sell a bit of candy. Now he's in a bit of treasure. Uh, pressure. Pressure because Zolly was right on him. He's got the ball. Oh, what? come off it. Gee whiz. <laughs> Free kick goes to Burke. So, so Jason Burke now. He's about uh, to put the ball inside there, forward 50. Loads up and goes long. Mark not taken back there. Good spoil from behind. Picked up. Goes to Jones. Jones to Cations. Cations across the ground. Went to Dan Gros. He's got it. He tried to get in out of trouble. Another tackle laid out there. This time it was Kittle. No, he left the ball behind. He's slow, on it. He's slow on it though, isn't he? Well, he took a half a minute to get down for the punts. <laughs> Jake Kittle. He paid it, but it just took a while to get down there. Recipient of the free kick, working back into defence, goes sideways. Wall has pushed back, and he takes the mark. And we'll steady things down. Uh, Wiseman's just coming off in discomfort with the, looks like the calf, but he's done his job, and he's now won a premiership in all three leagues. So the ball kicked towards the centre wing, hole at the front of the contest, handles back inside, McLeish. Had uh, run into his teammate there, but it's worked back. Ends up in the hands of Kittle. He left it behind. Muir on the ground. Over the ball. Taps it back through his legs. Solly. He can't pick it up. It's, uh, Denham comes the other way. He can't pick it up cleanly either. Goes back. Egan picks it up. Gets out of the contest. Then goes back 20 yards. Had to go to Wall. Wall picks it up. A little bit of dash. Goes long. Back into their half forward line. But gets out the back. They're in trouble. But Baxter takes the mark. And will steady things down for Inverley. Plays on quickly. Across the ground he goes towards Meehan. Picks the ball up further afield. Goes towards Mays. Mays has got some options, but they're only back in the middle of the ground. He's going to have to go to Burke. He sees him now, and he goes in that direction. Meehan pushing past. Doesn't give the handball. Steadies things down now and kicks long into their forward line. Mark, was it taken? No, it's not. Hits the ground. Manganelli's there. Ends up in the hands of Howell. Just boots it back into the middle of the ground. Banfield couldn't take the mark. Logue's there. He put his head over the contest. Takes it. Spokes tackles him. Now the troops arrive. He, Banfield picked the ball up. Umpire says it's not going to come out of there, so I'll take it back. 28 minutes gone. Final quarter. There's a five-goal margin. It's in the lead. 5-13. Thompson, 10-13. So ball up. Centre wing. Jones, Baden. Baden gets it down. Still in dispute, the ball. Thompson with the players on the ground. Jones comes in to put the tackle he on. Went in pretty hard, too. He did. And the umpire will come in and ball it up just inside the centre square. So Jones and Baden. Baden gets it down. Davis. Meehan. His kick was smothered. Goes to Denham. Picks it up. Can give it away to Reese. And gets another possession. Gets it out wide. They go along the line. Tumbridge towards Freeman against Bowman. Pushed it in front of him. They get the ball around the corner. Kittle towards 50. But uh, Elford takes the mark at defensive 50. As the sun comes out, would you believe? Oh, well, it is. <laughs> well, I was going to say it is Melbourne, but it's not at <laughs> Geelong. But... It's Thompson right now. So That's what Elford, is. long kick. Meehan goes up. Off the back of the pack, Hybens taps it back towards Meehan. He's wrapped up. Ball comes out to Jones. Gets a bit of space to go with the right foot, but Baden, his opposite number, takes the mark on centre wing. Won't be long to go, boys. 29 and a half played. What's going on down here? 
Jones. Jones has given away a free kick down the ground. Don't get reported again, mate. Well, I suppose I probably won't get a chance to do this for the rest of the year, so... Oh, gee ho! <laughs> What's the last time I get a chance to do that? It's Reese Hole. Yeah, it's Hole, yeah. yeah. The, the red, red card. card. See ya, mate. Thanks the red for coming. See ya. Off you go. So... Well, not a great way to finish the game for no, him. No, no, it's not. It's not. And uh, Reese is still in the hands of the trainers too across there. Hope he can stand upright to collect the medal. <laughs> if did, did, I, did I say that? If he wins it. Did I say it. that out loud? If he wins it. There's still a oh, bit well, of voting to do I think here. he's talking about that. Well, I'm leaving. I'm leaving if he doesn't get the medal. He has been a colossus. You know what? We're all leaving even if he does get it. He's been a colossus. We're all leaving even if he does get it. <laughs> so the ball, you idiot. So Howell gives it short. And there's the siren. And it's the grand final win for Thompson. 10 13 73. They have defeated Inverley 5 13 43 by 30 points. Goal kickers Dale. Yes, for the winning side, 4 to Freeman, 2 to Matheson, 1 each to Kittle, Hutchison, Holwell and Sully. And for the 5 for Invalia, 2 to Meehan, 1 each to Hutchison, Gerard and Best. The Tigers, 10, 13, 73, have defeated Invalia. 5, 13, 43 by 30 points in the grand final. And the celebrations start for Thompson across the other side of the ground. They are... Uh, in raptures over there, in Belie in front, can't believe it. You know what? You know what? You, you play out that side all the ground for the whole game, right? So we can't see it, and they finally have the celebrations, and they bloody celebrate over there. We can't even see them. <laughs> Unbelievable. So Thompson ten thirteen seventy three have defeated in Belie five thirteen forty three. We'll take a break. Come back with a final siren. Thanks to Buckley's Entertainment Centre. We'll wrap things up on GDFL Grand Final Day. You listen.